देर आर सम पीपल हु कांट इवन एक्सेप्ट हैप्पीनेस इफ इट कम्स सडनली आई हर्ड अबाउट अ जेंटलमैन हु वॉज इन द हैबिट ऑफ बाइंग लॉटरी टिकेट्स ही नेवर वन अ प्राइज बट ही कैप्ट ऑन बाइंग टिकेट्स वंस इट सो हैपन दैट ही वॉज ट्रेवलिंग आउटसाइड आउट ऑफ कंट्री एंड ही हैड लेफ्ट सो मेनी लॉटरी टिकेट्स बिहाइंड The family member saw the result, and one of the lottery ticket had won twenty million pound. Family members were start, started worrying because they knew that this gentleman has never won a lottery ticket, and for the first time he is winning a twenty million dollar, twenty million pound, and he already had two heart attacks. So the family members were more concerned about it. they contacted the family doctor was more like a friend and family doctor asked him when is he returning from abroad family member said at 6 this evening all right i'll be there at home at 6 o'clock the family doctor came this poor gentleman came home over a tea the family doctor started some casual talks that i have heard you are buying lottery tickets he said yes Have you won any prize ever? He said never. Never? No. Nope. The doctor said, "Just think. Let us suppose that you win a prize of say hundred pounds." Doctor started with a small amount so that he doesn't have that big shock of twenty million or two million dollars, two million pounds, or twenty million. What I say, twenty million, so that he doesn't have that shock. He said, "Hundred pounds. I'll just buy some more lottery tickets from the same vendor." All right. What would you do if you win a prize of, say, five thousand pounds? Said five thousand pounds. I will buy some new clothes for me, for my family members, and I will. We'll just change our whole wardrobe. Okay. What if you win a lottery of? Fifty thousand pounds. Fifty thousand pounds. Said my home needs a little bit of painting and some furniture work done. I will get that work done and make my home more presentable. What if you win a lottery of say five hundred thousand, half a million pound? Half a million pound. I will change my home. I will buy a bigger home with a room or two more. What if you buy? Uh, what if you win a million pound? This gentleman said, "Million pound? I'll buy a new car." And then he went on saying, "I'll buy a country home, big land, and everything." Then he said, "What if you win a ten million pound lottery?" Now this man got bored. He said, "Come on, doctor! I have never even won ten pounds in lottery, and you are talking about ten million pounds." it's such a big sum doctor said we have come very close now just imagine just go imagine what would you do if you win 10 million pound lottery said doctor i will give you half the sum and on hearing this the doctor got a heart attack <laughs> so this is what happens Sometimes people cannot accept the happiness if it comes so sudden. So train your mind to accept the unexpected. These are the three things which makes your mind disciplined to accept a no, train your mind to wait, and train your mind to accept the unexpected. That gives you discipline. So first determination, second. direction third discipline fourth once you are disciplined your duty towards your goal setting is fixed fix the deadlines because a goal without a deadline is a very loose one and while setting this deadline make sure that these deadlines are realistic
Suppose you are setting a deadline that I want to lose 50 pounds in 30 days. It's quite an unrealistic deadline. On the first day you will feel very happy that you have decided to do this, but within three, four days you will find that mm -mm, it's not possible. And unrealistic goals die very early. Your deadline should be realistic. It should be practical. The most important thing in goal setting, and especially while setting the deadline is, it should always seem out of reach, but it, sh it should never seem out of sight. A thing which is very handy, it's, it's never a goal. My goal is to have a breakfast tomorrow morning. That cannot be a goal of life. <laughs> you are going to have it anyways. So the goal should always be little out of reach, but at the same time it should never be out of sight. You can't have, my goal is to have my breakfast in my own big mansion in Montreux in Switzerland in a very golden plate served by three stewards. That cannot be your goal. It's so unrealistic. It's so far-fetched. So the goal should be out of reach. At the same time, it should not be out of sight. It shouldn't be impossible. And accordingly, you can set your deadlines. Last, but not the least, important thing about goal setting is, once you are determined, once your direction is fixed, once you are disciplined, once your deadlines are set, then work towards it with total dedication. The fifth day is dedication. Dedicate yourself to that goal. And this capability is also unique to youngsters. I always say, youngsters can dedicate themselves. For elderly people it is rather difficult. It's not impossible, but it is rather difficult because they have so many limitations. Physical, physiological limitations, psychological limitations, sometimes financial limitations. They have so many limitations. But in case of youngsters, they can go all the way. Somebody asked me sometimes that, why only youngsters fall in love? And my answer was, because youngsters can dedicate themselves. And for love, dedication is the most important thing. A youngster when decides that this is what I want, he will dedicate himself. For achieving goal, dedication is a very important thing.